Coming up tonight at 10, a local school district makes a decision on fall sports. Plus, plans develop for a historic train in western Wisconsin. The rain, but when are we going to get more of it? An update coming up in a minute. Live from the Breaking News and Weather Authority, this is WEAU 13 News at 10. The owners of the Wisconsin Great Northern Railroad recently made a special purchase. The Mark Twain Zephyr is moving over 600 miles to its new home, where an extensive refurbishing process will begin. WEAU's Jessica Mendoza tells us more about this project. Mark Twain Zephyr is one of the most historic trains in the Midwest. Built in the 1930s, but it hasn't been operated in 62 years. Yeah. yeah. The old train certainly shows its age. It creaks and paint is peeling from the walls. But in 2021, Robert Taburn with the Wisconsin Great Northern Railroad says this old engine will be quite a sight to see. We'd almost ra rather have it in this shape than have all the old seats and stuff in it because now we got most of the junk out of the interior. We're able to pretty much start from scratch and rebuild the train. This one will actually be one of the few Zephyrs in the country you can actually come up here and enjoy a ride on. The stainless steel train was used to deliver mail decades ago. People would have dropped their letter in and if you mailed it by truck in a reg regular mailbox, it might take three or four days to drop it on the train and can get to St. Louis or Iowa the next night. Now it's planned to be fixed up with features such as a movie theater, museum and more. And for the last 60 plus years, private owners across the Midwest have tried to refurbish this. Um, just never either had the time, the money, the people to do it. Tayburn says he believes the Wisconsin Great Northern Railroad finally will be able to welcome passengers back on board. We have full-time carpenters electricians, uh, mechanical engineers, and designers. So we really have a team on hand of our employees who are going to uh, be able to get this done. The other four cars will be coming up in the next couple of weeks. As you could imagine, transporting a train car is no easy task. Bringing these up on a flatbed truck, a 125 foot long flatbed truck, wide load truck, and we've been bringing them up from the St. Louis area. The trip up Highway 94 attracts many train fanatics. Tayburn said people tracked the delivery of of the engine on their Facebook page and lined the highway just to see it go by. We have crews that will be following them up from St. Louis and kind of posting the location. And so if you're anywhere along 94 or 53, very good chance in the next couple of weeks. Um, good time. Keep your eye on the uh, four other passenger cars that will be coming up through your neck of the woods. You can like the Mark Twain Zephyr on Facebook to follow along with the transportation and renovations of this train. In Trigo, Jessica Mendoza, WEAU 13 News.